Now, income elasticity of demand measures the degree of responsiveness of change in quantity demand of a good to a change in income levels of the consumers demanding that good. So, when we look at YED, the formula is given by percentage change in quantity demand of a good over percentage change in income levels. And how do we understand the values of YED or the signs of YED? When we see a YED value that is negative, we call that an inferior good. Because when the sign is negative, that means that when my incomes go up, I'm buying less of that good. And yet, when my incomes go down, I'm buying more of that good. So what we will find is that when we talk about such goods, these are what we call inferior goods, where you have a YED negative sign. And for normal goods, we have a positive sign. What are normal goods? You buy more of these things when your income goes up. You buy less of these things when your income goes down. That is highly logical, right? But normal goods, you can actually do a subdivision of the goods into two categories. Like for example, if you have a normal good, although all normal goods have a positive sign, if your value is between 0 to 1, we actually consider that to be a necessity. A necessity is, is between the value of 0 to 1, meaning to say that when incomes actually go up, you find that demand for these goods go up, but less than proportionately. Whereas for luxury goods, you have a YD value of more than 1. Why is it more than 1? It's because when your incomes go up, you find that your demand for these goods go up more than proportionately. Right, so that's why we call them luxury goods and what luxury goods have a YD value of more than 1. Now, so when I was surfing Facebook the other day, I'm going to share with you this example so I can tell you how firms are making use of YD concepts. I found that Osim, which is actually a massage chair producer which produces luxury goods, we find that OSIM, in usual times, they are seeing when incomes go up, they are producing more and more luxurious variants of their massage chairs. Why? Because when incomes go up, demand for luxury goods will go up more than proportionately. So they will make more profits by creating more luxury variants of massage chairs. Like for example, the King of Kings. That is a loose translation of some of the latest massage chairs that series that they have come up with. Yet, in recent days, I find that they have been focused on more of the smaller items like neck massages, like foot massages, and um, even eye massages, which are really much more affordable. And they are priced at hundreds of dollars instead of thousands of dollars. So these goods are more income inelastic in nature because they are less luxurious and more seen as a necessity. Although that's, that's arguable whether or not they are necessities, but they are more seen as necessities by OSIM, which means their incomes are going to be less affected because demand for income elastic goods will decrease less than proportionately when incomes go down. And that is what's happening in recent times in the year 2020. And when we look at mobile phone manufacturers, you'll find that mo mobile phone manufacturers, they pr produce a series of phones. Samsung can take this approach. When incomes are going up, they can sell more of their high series mobile phones, which are considered more of luxury goods. And yet, actually Samsung actually has lower tier mobile phones that cost um, less than $100. And these mobile phones, you can market them as inferior goods where demand actually increases when income levels are going down. So it can push for higher series phones when income levels are going up. And it can push for more affordable substitutes when incomes are going down.